Yeah, there's me, and the only one that's moving. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? You think she's worth all that? Well, yeah, it's just life is valuable. So, yeah, we all are. We all are. This isn't about Chloe or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. What? Now I'm enormous. Uh, alright. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max? Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Jesus. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave.
Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh, I remember. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! <laughs> you can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. That is... Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Fucking get over yourself. Jesus Christ. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Oh, 
awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Jesus, this is, Chloe, this is heavy. you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... these are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> Come on, Max, we're almost there. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. The only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You. You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to. 
to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Oh, Christ. <sighs> Cause that's the thing, so many people have been traumatized and been through so much like damage and all that kind of stuff. And um <sighs> So if if the timeline just carried on going and Chloe put like died when she was shot in the bathroom, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have been able to find out or I wouldn't have found out about um Mr. Jefferson or anything he was doing. Oh wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Kill the one to save the many. Max. It's time. Chloe. I'm so so sorry. I I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. Get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? 
I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I don't know what to what to say to him. <laughs> that was um, that is absolutely incredible. If not an, again, an emotional roller coaster. That was uh, that was insane.
Wow, <laughs> there's, there's uh, episode five for you. That was uh, again, again an absolute roller coaster. <laughs> it's just crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, Story-wise, yeah, I, I think that was pretty much top notch. I thought it was really good. I like the way they um, they portrayed the idea of time and. Uh, what you can manipulate and what you can change, but even with that, there's there's going to be ramifications elsewhere. So it's yeah, like like they say, the butterfly effect, like a flap of the wings of a butterfly in one location can end up as a, a hurricane in another. It's um, yeah, it's it's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, I, I like the whole the art style of the graphics. I thought that was really great. The uh, the characterization again was fantastic. I thought it was really really brilliant. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. I really did. I thought it was great. Um, <laughs> it's if you're, it's a very sensitive subject, very touchy subjects. So you've got to make sure you're you're okay with dealing with those sub, um, those subjects, and either having the answers for or having the ways out of them. I think. But yeah, yeah, definitely happy I played that. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, yeah, if you did, click the like button if you want to see more. Uh, I'm not sure of this because I think this is the last one actually. If you want to see more like gameplays and reviews and things like that, then yeah, yeah, subscribe and you'll be glad you did. And I'll be glad you did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, apart from that, take care, guys. This is Philly Man out. Uh, interestingly, it's, oh yeah, yeah, for Polarized, it showed us our choices, and there was, yeah, you decided to sacrifice, that's interesting, half, like, I'm very impressed and surprised by how split decision that is, you decided to sacrifice Chloe, and 47% decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, so I'd, I'd be, I'd be keen to know, what the difference is, like who who dies and what what the state of it is afterwards and everything. But yeah, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Uh, not of this, because this is now finished. I'm sorry about that. I'm actually quite sad. I kind of want to play more, but you know what they say: always leave your audience wanting more. <laughs> so take care, guys. Billy man out.